Hello, Michael. Welcome to our offices here in the Basel area. Yeah. Hello, André. Thank you very much for inviting us here. You're welcome. Thank you that we have the opportunity to discuss together our big GCC project. Welcome to the audience and welcome to my blog. I'm here at Asino Pharma in Esch, Switzerland, and I'm talking with Dr. André Reda, side head of Switzerland for Asino Pharma, about a big GCC 950 project, tablet coder project that we had here in Esch. It's a pleasure. Welcome, and please come in. Yeah. André, if you please tell us a bit about Asino Pharma, maybe, maybe not every uh, one looking at this blog uh, knows Asino Pharma. And if you present us a little bit, what is Asino Pharma? Sure, it's a pleasure, you know. Asino is a company with two big areas of business. So the one is the B2B business and the other one is the B2C business. And the B2B business, and that is predominantly for Europe, but not exclusive, we are working with our business partners together with the good, the top five, top 10 pharma companies, you know, the all generic companies. And that is one area. And the other area is we are working directly for the customer in specific areas, like in the meta region, Africa, Latin America, and all over the world. And that is the second part of our business. That means Sinopharma is not only a contract manufacturing company, but also a developing uh, company that's developing products for customers. Yeah, indeed, that's a very good point. You know, especially for our B2B business, we develop the projects further what the customer is coming with us. So we are a kind of CDMO, mm -hmm. but uh, for our uh, colleagues in the in the regions for the B two C business where we are really active as a Sino with mm -hmm. our own brand, yeah. then you know we do everything what is needed. Yeah. What was the reason that you decided for Glad in the end when you were looking for a quota? Yeah, sure. You know the the situation is that we really had a good evaluation of the market based on different factors, and and one factor was definitely fit to our, our URS the timeline, what is expected to realize a project, and the costs, yeah. you know. And having all said this, we need to say that GLAD was an excellent fit on OUS. They promised very good timelines, and the cost was also very reasonable, short-term, and also very important long-term, when you think on a production level. When I'm looking at the timeline of the project, this was really a very fast track project. It took one, less than one year from the signature end of the contract till the first production started. So this was really something to be proud of. Yeah, indeed. That was one of the main and key reasons why we selected GLUT. We had a very good feeling in the timeline proposed by your team and the engagement everybody had on your side. But also on the other hand, you know, I need to say also my team was very much engaged, you know, the engineering team, the production team, the MSNT team, you know, everybody really wants to make that project happen. And so I really realized that GLUT and, and the Alcino group wanted to work together, you know, and that, that was a key for success at the end. And as you said, that was really amazing to realize it in less than a year. Yeah, forming one team together, the Excellent. client and the, the producer of, of uh, machines. Yeah. So what have been the reasons to decide in the end for GLAD? Yeah, you know, as I said, we had made in U.S. and um, to think about what is really key and what is the main key reasons yeah. for us. And we realized that cleanliness of the product is very important, uh, the conformity of coating, the uh, run speed, you know, what we can uh, spray at maximum. And, you know, and also that we tried uh, to, to simulate, you know, in your facilities in the pilot area. And we were very impressed by the results. And that was a clear positive signal for us to go for GLAD. Was later on maybe the, the possibility to run with containment and in containment with highly active products also a decision? Yeah, exactly. What we plan to do is going into the area of high containment products. And so that is for us, even the, the size probably of the 950 is super big, you know, probably not the right size, but to learn how to work with that, we see a SIP, what we, what we have with you, that is a good thing to really start into that area. Yeah. 
Now we have the big opportunity to see the machine in action, as you see 950 in at a cinema farm in Liesberg. And thank you very much, Andre, for inviting me here for this interview and for having the opportunity to talk to you. It was a big pleasure to have you here in our offices and I now give you in the hands of Monika, my head of production in our site in Liesberg, to show you the machine in action. See you soon. Now we are in the production of Asilfa here in Liesberg. I'm sitting here with Monika Matuza and Bart Zelig from uh, Asino Farm. Monika is head of production here in Liesberg and uh, Bart is the project manager of, pro uh, of this very fast project that we had here. But this was really a very fast, fast project between signature and the uh, purchasing contract and product the start of production it was just 10 months. So this must really have been a challenge for you. Yes. Yeah. Extremely important was um, planning of all interfaces and inter interaction during the project with uh, external suppliers, with GLAD, with Arsino Farm. Mm -hmm. I think validation is also a quite big issue and a challenge. Yeah, the validation of uh, pharma devices is always a challenge, but we could done it um, during approximately one month. So it was, it was really great form. Monica, you as a head of production, so you must have a lot of challenges with those machines. One challenge was the cleanliness of the uh, machine and cleaning, cleaning validation and cleaning itself. What can you tell us there? So for us it was very important that the efficiency was high, so that the cleaning time was as short as possible that the water consumption was as low as possible, but also um, one large benefit is that the, in the tip cleaning, the cleaning of the nozzles is included. And um, also cleaning validation, we run three runs for cleaning validation and these were successful in the first three runs. So we did not That's have really to um, do it all over again. That's a big approach. That's really good. Yeah. And, and how about production capacities in, in, in this type of code? So you are running in a wide range and, and that's a really huge number of types in one batch. Yes, so for us it was important that we have a, a large uh, batch size range. So with this additional large coater we can coat all of the batches that we also coat on our small coaters. So we can run around 500,000 tablets to 8 million tablets on the coater, depending in the on same, the... In the same coater? Yes. Scale-up was an issue, I think. And, uh, well, you did first try batches here on this side and this side? Yes. And also at GLAD? Yes, we did do some one or two trial batches at GLAD. And then um, we did, I think, one or two placebo batches on the new coater, but GLAD supported us excellently with their scale-up approach. And so um, we could calculate the approximate uh, spray rate and the max spray rate on this large coater. And um, this has worked perfectly until now. That's fine. Great. Now, GCC in general is also designed for high containment products and for production of containment uh, uh, ready products and, and what's what's your your view in the future to, to work here with such products? So we have this um, planned in the future and we did buy this coater with the future perspective of being able to produce high containment products on this mm -hmm. machine. We see that with professionalism such a big fast track project can be handled in the same manner as each other project and I think you have the same experience. Yes, we were very content with the way um, Blood worked together with us and the way this project worked out and I think in the future we can also consider um, some future projects together with Blood. That would be great, thanks a lot. So, see you next time in my blog. Until then, stay tuned 
and stay safe.